We have another update to a race that we've been following very closely tonight to replace Congresswoman Susan Davis in the 53rd Congressional District. A short time ago, one of the candidates, they're both Democrats in this scenario, Georgette Gomez, uh, conceded to Sarah Jacobs, a newcomer to the political scene, but a familiar name here in San Diego as she is the granddaughter of the founders of Qualcomm, the Jacobs family, and it looks like she is the projected winner. We want to check in with our Liberties Abolished. She has been covering this since the beginning tonight, and uh, we've definitely hit a whole new leg of this race, Liberty. Absolutely, Kathleen. Good evening. It was a much more dampened mood here at this live socially distanced event here in Hillcrest led by Georgette Gomez, the council president currently. She did concede, as you mentioned, to Sarah Jacobs. And Sarah Jacobs at this point has a huge lead of about 18 points ahead. Now, we did speak to council president Gomez, who said it just unfortunately didn't look like this race would happen for her tonight, but she's not ruling out running again in the future. Her campaign says that she would have been the first LGBTQ Latina elected to Congress. Now, the 53rd Congressional District includes the Balboa Park area, areas of Mission Valley, East County, and Chula Vista. Meanwhile, the candidate in the lead, Sarah Jacobs, is a nonprofit executive who worked in the State Department under the Obama administration. And as you mentioned, the granddaughter of Qualcomm founder, Erwin Jacobs and I knew what she was going to bring to the campaign and how much she was going to spend. I didn't think that collectively her family was going to spend $9 million in the campaign in a working class district, but it did happen. Today, the voters in this district made a clear choice. There is no time to waste. We have a lot of work to do, and I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get to it. Meanwhile, Gomez says that she does plan to finish out her council president term strong. And she also says that she did call Sarah Jacobs to congratulate her. And she does plan to work with her to help working families. For now, live here in Hillcrest, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.